Hey guys, Killer Kid Demons here from MurderTrock.com slash, you know, just everywhere and anywhere. But basically, this episode is going to be like an E3 swag video. You can see it's a little bit messy, just trying to, you know, get back into the swing of things with while well, also visiting a friend. Now, you can see in front of me, there's a gray bag. You can see Steve Thieves symbol. As well as there's a Borderlands symbol bag. Now, at E3, they were giving away multiple Borderlands bags with, you know, a poster. Uh, I think it's like a little wall scroll, like decorative art and whatnot. And a Borderlands Psycho Mask. Now, in the background right now, just to save space because it was a little bit hard to carry uh, on its own, is the Dying Light 2 statue. Now... We're not going to be opening Dying Light 2 statue because a lot of people probably want it as a collector's item. We can probably open it like this, but you see how there's still the foam right there? Not really, you know, productive. Um, let's see what's behind the foam though, hold on. Yeah, you see on the back... How it's like just still the statue, but only the front has it. So let's see what's behind the foam actually. I thought it was gonna be wrapped in plastic. So let's see. Yeah, I'm on foam. So here's the statue. Looks like the arm came out of it. Let's move that back. But let's look at it. Interesting little, you know, skull kind of stand. Look at that detail. Boom, right in your face. Then there is the main character of the game. Bam, bam, that detail. It's not like this little plastic figure, it's kind of actually hard. And then you have this, his little arm that, you know, is apparently severed. So, right now, the statue on eBay is at least going for two fifty. I've seen it go all the way up for four fifty. Um, probably because the game is not out yet. They, uh, I know a lot of people are not listing it, um, or some people are listing it just to make a cheap buck, or others just want to you know keep it. Now, an example of just trying to make a cheap buck are all those that are selling the cyberpunk jackets, which. I think the lowest I've seen those go for is like, you know, 400 so far, which is crazy. And that's when I last looked at bidding. That was bids that were up to 400, not just straight buy it now. So the buy it nows, sorry, trying to get this in. I'll let you look at the, the Sea of Thieves back. No, the buy it now was up to like $1,000 the last one I saw, which is crazy. Which is also funny because Cyberpunk, uh, whenever they were giving away the jackets, like if you did the visual tour, they're like, hey, don't sell these jackets, they're important slash special. Um, not sure exactly why they're super special, but I wouldn't have sold mine anyways. Also, you can see when we were staying at the Marriott, we put all the bags under Rosa. Not anything significant or special to me, but I found it humorous nonetheless. Now, this is the uh, the bag they were giving away for Xbox Fan Fest, where I hadn't looked in it yet. But this was not part of the Fan Fest, at least not that I know of. This is actually part of the Borderlands bag. Uh, they were giving away one, where I just used it as storage, kind of. So I'm not too concerned about that, but. Let's see what's in here. Uh, these are actually not part of the bag as well, but there is, because one is a Devolver shirt, and the other is a Sega shirt, if you want to look at Retro Sega. Sega. Retro Sega. I'm Sean Connor. No. Um, it's Retro Sega, and I remember having the Game Gear, which is really cool looking at this, like looking at their past success, and then death but, but let's focus on the success 
overall it is a neat little shirt with all the like retro consoles so it would be a really cool like retro gaming shirt for somebody to wear i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or sell like sell it to a friend or give it to a friend but i don't know it was a cool thing to get from sega um you had to play a certain amount of their games at the booth which because of media was able to you know just kind of cheat and get in um so i apologize for anyone who was waiting in line and that later sees us but hey at least the sega lines were relatively short compared to the rest of e3 just saying and then this is the devolver shirt it has a dog on it um devolver had kind of like a dog theme going this year i'm not gonna touch it right now but that's fine this is a platonics headset which i already have uh a few headsets i have one of theirs i have their 600 model as well as basically uh what is it called i have a hypercore cloud set one um but apparently this is wireless which could be interesting it still has the microphone it still has the headphone uh wireless headset wireless base usb charge cable adobe atmos activation cord interesting i may keep this i was originally considering selling it for like 129 or even more because it is wireless but i don't like having the cord on all the time so this might be a good alternative the fact that it also says it has a 24-hour battery is pretty neat now this is another thing from sega it's a little sheep ears from Catherine, which is kind of cool um i'm not too concerned about the Catherine ears i think i got duplicates anyways so I'd always be willing to give or sell one of them away. But this is the bag uh, that they were giving away from FanFest. The Sea of Thieves bags. Personally, I enjoy Sea of Thieves so much that I played it twice during E3. Because lines for everything else was ridiculously long. But, that's besides the point. There's even like a little side pocket here if you need it. Which is kind of cool. Um, another side pocket right here. I guess these side pockets could be like water bottle pockets too. They don't have to be like pockets pockets. I'm not sure. I'm wondering why they have this up here. This is weird to me. It's like a little holder. I guess it's a phone holder or USB holder. Maybe MP3. I've not seen one of those in a while. So, I don't know. I'm trying to find out also where my uh, pins went for E3. Now, here. This is some of the stuff that's in the bag. This was in the like lower sleeve. It's very lightweight, and I know my friend originally missed it whenever he was going through the bag on his own. But let's see what it is. There is a little Lego man to celebrate Forza Lego Horizon. Let's go zoom in on him a little bit. Look at that guy. Everything is awesome. And it says McLaren Senua Irelia. He's a little neat little dude. Uh, I'm sorry about the focusing in and out, but apparently if I move too fast, it'll do that. We'll put Lego Man back in here. Next up is the Xbox Fan Fest 5th Anniversary Medallion. Like, I, I don't know if you can see how heavy it is, but it's pretty thick. I thought it was like a light little coin, but it's surprisingly heavy. Next is interesting. I don't know what this is from, actually. I'm guessing... I wanted to guess Metro Exodus, but it's probably not Metro Exodus. And the back doesn't really tell me anything. So maybe Ironborn or something? I don't know. Not Ironborn. Fuck. Next from them is a Kingdom Come Deliverance lanyard. Now, personally, I don't wear lanyards. Most of the ones I have sit at home. Uh, I think with the exception of the League of Legends one I have, but now this is interesting. They gave us an Elite Xbox Elite Wireless t Controller 2 Series um, little like button. I'm not sure if this thing in here opens up. Like it looks like it's a cardstock that may open up. I'll check it out in a second. Uh, but here is a Cyberpunk 2077 lanyard. Let me try to get it to zoom in properly. Zoom properly. Why are you not focusing, you son of a bitch? 
There we go, Cyberpunk 2077 Leonard. Uh, it's kind of actually thick and sturdy, I'm surprised. It looked flimsy at first, but... I guess it wasn't as flimsy as I thought. Now, I'm gonna open up this Elite thing. I'll let you look at the Borderlands bag while we wait. Give you some shaky camera. So, the cardstock, I thought it might have something in it, like a secret code. Like, if you look at the back, I don't see anything. And it just says, learn more at xbox.com. So, on one hand, it's neat that they gave us this, because it just commemorates the Xbox Fan Fest. But, if you're not planning to buy the Elite Wireless Controller 2 series, it's kind of useless. Like, okay. I'll hold on to it for a bit, I guess. Because uh, maybe they'll surprise us with a FanFest uh, wireless series 2 controller or something. I don't know. Um, they've done that in the past. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. Okay, now main f time for the main bag. I I'm still curious to see if anything's in here. I didn't really reach around in there. No, there's nothing in there. So it's not a big loss. Now it's time to go into the main bag. So, there's quite a bit in here apparently already. There's a Sea of Thieves pin. There's a Gears of War 5 pin. That's getting some weird color from the sun. Film camera, you wanna focus for me? There we go. Yeah, Gears of War 5 pin. There's some Battletoad sunglasses. Battletoads. There is a red Age of Empires 2 shirt. There is a State of Decay 2 Heartland water bottle, which is nice. I, need to, I always love water bottles. I already have a few, though, so it's not an X, like, you know, duo and all. Xbox Game Pass, discover your next game. I'm going to look at see what's in there at first. Okay, that's just the little book that they had us fill out to get like a free uh, X Xbox Game Pass Ultimate thing. I forgot I had put that in there. So it's nothing crazy special. Here, here's something for you. It is a can-like thing, but for Battletoads that says, Party, Part of your daily toad allowance, shake well, blitz. So it's like a little coffee mug, natural toad juice. Da, 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 da. All right, let's see what else is in here. Another Sea of Thieves pin. So I originally got Sea of Thieves pin just for playing the game. So I guess that's another one. Here is a Blessed Unleashed Cure-All flask, which is actually, I uh, I used this. I got one at uh, PAX East, and I've already used it. It actually is pretty sturdy and contain it pretty well. Um... Uh, Here's an Xbox Game Pass pin. So I'm wondering where all my pins went. That's what's concerning me right now. Here is another Borderlands mask. I don't need all these Borderlands masks, so I'll probably give one away, or maybe two. I know one's going to Mitch and one's probably going to Patrick, so... Hey, that's fine. We have more masks, right, that we can deal with. Oh, God. Why so many masks? Too many children at the vault. Alright, so we still have those. Um, there's also apparently a Kingdom Come Deliverance code. Um, let me look. Yeah, there is a code on there. I'm not a fan of the series, but I know other people probably are. There's some business cards. I don't remember who they are. I mean, I probably did talk with them. Yeah, I remember getting these. So it's not a duo and all. This would actually be in my E3 lanyard. Um, and then there's a code for Xbox Game Pass for one month. I can show you part of it because it's not fully uncovered. Um, I'm not too concerned if somebody takes a one month of it. But, hey, feel free if you can figure it out. Then there's this Battletoads foam hand relax supper supposedly let me go look in here and see if there's anything. there's nothing in it 
but like look kind of cool I like it so that's there let's go see what else is in there I was told there was a few more things and I'm just looking for it I don't see anything okay here is a Gears of War 5 comic book for Hive Buster, which they showed a cutscene. So supposedly it's a $3.99 value if you were buying it off the shelf. I don't know if they plan on releasing it everywhere or if it's a collector's edition or something. But hey, it's issue one. It's not bad. Let's see if there's anything else. There is more in here apparently, but wait, there's more. There's also the Spartan ship inspired by Halo for Sea of Thieves. So there is a code, you can't see it through there. But yeah, under Sea of Thieves tattoo bag. Which I have a few of those at home, I love them personally. Now this is a gift from Microsoft War Awards. I know what's in here, so I'm not opening it, but I'm gonna put that to the side. But basically it is a, uh, hey, you call it this code. What the fuck is this? Sorry. Um, it gives a code for basically $10 worth of uh, code or er, rewards. There's also a golden Ninja Theory Bleeding Edge pass where uh, basically it is a hey, if you want to play the game early, you can. Here's a code. Then there is a V-Bucks for Fortnite. I don't know if V-Bucks is any good. You can see where it expires. I haven't scratched it off. I'm not concerned about Fortnite. Maybe I'll give it to somebody or I'll sell it to somebody, but it does say do not sell. Then there's Lino Broski. I don't know. It's, uh, I guess he's a, like playing cards for the Outer Worlds, which is kind of cool. I'm going to be careful with it in case it becomes a collector's item. Um, yeah, I am curious of why they gave us an Elite uh, 2. Like, uh, an Elite 2, like, uh, button. But there is more from E3. I just can't find it at the moment. It's probably in my suitcase. Uh, I will be back for a part 2 if I can find it. There's some Ubisoft stuff and some pins. Um, but that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next video.